Welcome. Today we're going to do a teardown on two great value LED bulbs. A 12 watt 1100 lumens bulb that has a nine year life and a six and a half watt bulb with 480 lumens with an 18 year life. And speaking of life, it's kind of interesting to look. The life is based on three hours per day. So if you do the math on that, three hours times 365 days times nine years is roughly 10,000 hours. And so 18 years would be roughly double, which is 20,000 hours. So if you look at how many hours are in a year, 24 times 365, you almost get 9,000 hours. So basically, if you run your bulbs half-life, the 9-year will get you 2 years, and the 18-year will get you 4 years. We'll discuss a little bit more about this later on. The light bulb cover is actually pretty easy to remove. You just take your knife and run it around the edge of the bulb. I uh, usually have to go around a couple times. But once you've done this, the bulb just basically pops right off and you can see what's inside. Um, the two circuits are very similar. Um, the 12 watt bulb has 24 LEDs and the six and a half watt has eight. Um, the circuit card is etched onto an aluminum plate. If you look on the black, you can see it's just a th thick aluminum plate with the circuit board etched on it. And that's to conduct the heat away from the LED bulbs. In addition, that aluminum plate is mounted in a, a aluminum cone and that pulls the heat down into the socket of the light bulb and then into the light fixture. So the life of LED bulbs is all about heat. On the back you can see there's a um, big capacitor um, that's used for reducing the ripple of the AC and then they have a resistor which is a fuse and also limits the inrush current on the device. Um, I was able to derive the schematics for both of these, and they're very similar. There's the inrush resistor, a bridge, a cap for ripple reduction, goes through a diode, another cap for more ripple reduction with a resistor to slowly bleed down the voltage on it, and then the LEDs and a constant current source chip. Um, I wasn't able to identify exactly, but the one in the 12 watt looked like a AL5892 part. And it's interesting, they both have two resistors which sets the current through the LEDs. The 6.5 lumen, basically the same thing. Resistor bridge. Um, they added a ver resistor which helps reduce uh, the noise that gets into the circuit two caps for ripple reduction, a diode, LEDs, and the current limiting device, which is a, similar to an SM2082. The markings were uh, on the chips. I was unable to actually cross-reference it. But once again, you see there's two resistors to set the current in the LEDs. There's some LED bulbs that are called Dubai bulbs. And they're actually designed to last 25 years longer than a standard bulb. The manufacturers prefer not to sell these because they want to sell you a bulb every couple years. Um, I don't have any Dubai bulbs, but I, the discussion is how do you design a LED to last 25 years longer. Um, you can see industry historically has done this. Um, around the turn of the century, there was a Phobius cartel that agreed on a thousand-hour life for the old incandescent bulbs. Sometimes we call this value engineering. With these two light bulbs, you can actually cut out those current limiting resistors. If you cut out one of them, 
Um, you can see on the six and a half watt, there's two resistor positions here. I've taken one out with my soldering iron, but you can use your dikes and just cut it out. And that'll reduce the brightness by half, the current by half, and it should significantly increase the life of the part. On the 12 watt bulb, the two resistors are here and here, and you can see I have removed one of them, thus effectively more than doubling the life of the bulb. Since I had a soldering iron that was hot enough that I could actually pull the LEDs off the board, it takes a lot of heat because of the aluminum board. I was able to try a lot of different values for um, the resistor values and I also measured the brightness difference. Um, the brightness was measured with an app on my phone and then I have a, a temperature meter which I use to get the overall temperature of the bulb. Um, it doesn't specifically get a temperature of any one LED on here, but it allowed me to get the temperature of the whole device. The LEDs would be significantly hotter. What's interesting is if you look at the, with taking the stock resistor out and cutting it in half, it significantly reduces the temperature. The other thing that's interesting is the 18 year bulb basically starts out with a 50 degree lower temperature and that's how they basically extend the life of it. So as you continue to drop the temperature you'll increase the life of the light bulb. There are two main things that affect the life of electronics. The first is temperature and you can actually see this on a Vichy capacitor data sheet. It's very interesting. If you look the endurance of the capacitor at 200 uh, at 125 C is 2,000 hours. Um, the useful life is double that. But if you can drop the temperature to 40 C, you get half a million hours. And it's kind of linearly with temperature. So as the temperature goes up, your life will decrease. Um, this is probably the most temperature dependent device in a light bulb. Um, these capacitors will fail first over any of the other parts. Second thing you can do to increase the life is a thing called derating. So if you look at the capacitor on the back of the plate, um, it's a 160 volt device. Um, derating means if I run it at the full voltage, there's no derating. Um, normally for commercial parts, they derate it down 15% or so, and the military derates around uh, 40%. So if this was 100 volts, commercially they'd use it at roughly 85 volts, and if it was military, they wouldn't use it above 60 volts. So out of curiosity, I measured the voltage across this in circuit and it was roughly 130 volts. So the derating on that is basically, uh, you know, 19%. So it's a little above what I would expect. So the main difference between these two circuits is the inrush resistor, which is 10 times bigger. There's no cost difference to put that in. They added the ver resistor, which will turn on when noise spikes come through. And the two filter caps are larger, which will also give an increased life. If you use temperature um, as a gauge for life, um, you could tune the current in the LEDs to adjust the temperature to whatever you want. And since there are two resistors here, they very precisely tune the temperature to what they want. So the Dubai bulb basically runs the LEDs at one quarter of max current. Uh, they have double caps for the filtering and a lot, double up on a lot of the parts to improve reliability. And because of the low temperature and the heat in the part, uh, basically it lasts 25, long, 25 years longer than a normal light bulb.